All right, guys, welcome back to more Baldur's Gate 3. I know we finished the campaign last time, but I've enjoyed this game so much that I want to try the Dark Urge run. And also, in our last campaign, we didn't we didn't uh, explore all of it. And by all of it, I mean like the House of Hope and some other side quests that I probably missed with that. So, we're gonna start a new game as usual. And of course, there was a new thing that happened. New update. Let's see if this custom, what does it do? Customize. Single save? No. Enemy aggression balance. Character power balance. Balance. Combat mechanics balance. Efficiency. What does that do? Increase proficiency bonus for all characters reducing the impact of random rolls. Let's go back the game. Enemy critical hits. Sure. No death saving throws. No. Disable free first strikes. No. Camp cost multiplier. Keep that short restful heal, yes. Modifier. We'll keep that multi-classing, yes. And pause the game, we'll do so by default. Yeah, sure. I felt perception rolls. Bot traps. If this is this, yes. Showing you if you have passed or failed a passive roll. Yes. Review dialogue. Check difficulty before rolling. Skill checks will be before you select them as dialogue options. High difficulty class during rolls. Uh see how hard he bleeds this will be pre-selected as a dialogue option. Okay, I'll keep I'll put that on, sure. Let's start a new game. Press enter. Oh, we are using mods, so I guess we'll skip that. All right, so this is our character, the Dark Urge. She is a very tiefling paladin, which is also vengeance. But I'm hoping I will. I will have her as an oathbreak later on. So let's proceed. Oh, I can change it. Urge. Sure. Let's do that. Uh, proceed. Randomize it. Sure. Okay, we don't need to see this where we've seen it before. The 
blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Hmm. Take a deep breath, shake your head and start anew. Time to get out of here. And then you can shed light on the dark of the matter of yourself. Alright. Working should Somebody else get out. Okay. You, huh? Room slate. Yonix. for me. Yonix. What's in here? Oh, money. Hard corpse here. Oh, I did not notice that before. Nothing in it. Okay. Here we go. What's inside? Felt this mind player. What? What does he have? I'm at this. More moolah. Alright. Can't go there, I can't go there. This is the pool that Bing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Investigation. I just, oh no. Oh, I failed. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Each towards the pool. Lol. Got restoration here. I could heal myself again, thankfully. Well, it's record. Oh, that's new. Rune slate. Rune slate. Rain chart. You grab it.
can't do anything with this stuff. I hear you. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. Please, before they return. They return. I'm afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. I think your best point of saving. Tell me what to do. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Hmm. I could destroy the brain. I could depress the brain from the skull, break the skull, inspect it. I think inspect it. Minus one intelligence. Great. That's five. Probably a failure. Yep. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. About dexterity, I mean, strength to break the skull. To break the skull. Critical success. an opportunity you could cripple the strange creature making it more subservient should it prove a threat your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender moist meat to shreds natural 20 creature seems unaware of your interference. It relaxes in your hands. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. Uh, what's at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Are we though? Hmm. What should I call you? Us. We are us. Alright, let's go. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. Uh, what the fuck? What, what the That body just dragged all. Anything else up here I could take? Brain sharp, brain sharp, brain sharp, brain sharp. Control apparatus. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Great. Oh, you got stuck up there. Hey. Okay. Oh, never mind. This 
No, it's not. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. You are no thrall. Vlacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Might? What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. What do you suggest? First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Okay, so oh, I'm going first. We death won't take me yet. Give me that. Uh, what else can I see here? Anything? Get imp over here. Nice. Over here. Oh, you all sat in it. Oh. That's a dead body. Push it. Psionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Did you read You read that one? What that one? Let me push that one. Oh. You! Get me out of this damn thing! We have no time for stragglers. You could be useful to us. Look for a last time I opened the lid. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Yes. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! The console appears dormant. Look for the mechanisms switch. are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Hit it. Nothing. 
The console remains dormant. Let's go find the key then. <gasps> That's throw. Ooh. Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. There, but she's here. So many chairs here. Get that. Sigil. Oh, great. Place your hand on the console. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Doubt it. Let's go. The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Weak and dazed. <laughs> Soul appears dormant. Insert the rune into the socket. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? I cannot check. Oh, success. Nice. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades. And another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Pull the pot to open. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. And yield to it. Shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Uh, I'll take the backpack. Thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. Hmm. Got a problem with this Yankee? More that gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Did you feel what I felt just before? 
We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. But that'll have to wait. Are we going to help each other or not? All right then. Let's get going. One moment. Come on, time to go. Finally. Let us make for the helm. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. Maybe I need more pockets. Burnish necklace. A little manuscript. A little money. Duck mind. Sure. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. All right, girls, don't fight. Saving? All right, saving. After we escape, connect the nerves. Nerves, we will connect them. Swift and lethal. Great, miss. been stunned great Advantage, I'll take that. Miss, great. Stop missing. Oh, my God. 
Nice. Great. Missing, damn it. Time to strike. He keeps missing. Why? I'll take the stuff and I'm getting the fuck out of here. What? Blood comes easy these days. Get the fuck out of here. Time to run. Time to run. Fuck, I missed. Good. No, no, no. Come on, buddy. Swift and lethal. Let's get the position. Fuck. Run. You run. Get on it. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time.
You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Find a cure. All right. Ah, but we got the sword. Everburn blade. Well, good bit. All right. So, this will be the end of the first episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys once we continue this. Hopefully. Moving in. I'll just grab this time show real quick. Wish I had a bag of holding. Peace out, everybody.